Hi traders and welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's 10th of June today, Friday, which means we're going to have a look at Bitcoin and I'm going to tell you what are the levels to watch out for and what trades you can possibly look for, right? So this is the four hour time frame here. We're looking at Bitcoin and what we see is that we are in a downtrend. However, in the past few weeks, price has been trading sideways. All right. And at first I was expecting that we're not only going to see a consolidation, but we're actually going to see this pullback, right? Continuing a little bit higher up to around this zone of 34K. Um, up to 37,000 or 38,000 inside of this area is where I was expecting to see a reversal and price eventually continuing lower breaking below the 26k level and reaching levels around $20,000 per Bitcoin all right however that was my original idea which I'm not really sure if it's valid anymore and that's because if we look at the hourly time frame what we see is that prices you know try to push higher multiple times every time it does that it's not being able to reach any higher levels so the last time it did that was a bullish uh, push up to around the 32,000 level uh, but what happened then we saw that reversal happening right here and then we saw a sharp drop right we then had some consolidation again we had another try by the market to create um, higher values instead of that though it was followed by another sharp drop to the downside we tried yet another time and we see exactly the same thing, right? We see a retracement to the downside, which to me, it shows that there's probably not that much buying pressure right now. And instead of continuing higher up to around the 34,000 area, like I thought at first, we might actually see price breaking below this support right here at 29,000 and eventually continuing lower. Right. So this is what I actually think we're going to see instead of a push up to 34K. All right. So when it comes to target levels, I'm going to um, go up to the daily time frame. Um, and what we see here is the 18,200 level. How do I find that level? Well, I used a Fibonacci expansion too. So looking at the four hour time frame, this is our last impulse point A down to point B and point C is where the pullback ends, right? And that's in case we're not going to see any higher values than 32,000, right? So that means if price drops right now, then this target of 18,000 down here, 18,230 will be valid. All right. If we break above that, then we're going to have to move our point C to where the pullback ends. And that's going to give us higher uh, levels. Right. But right now, let's say we don't see any higher values than 32,000 than this previous high right here. Well, that means we're going to be looking for targets down at 1800. All right. Roughly 1800 because um, that's the exact number 18230 but obviously we could expect some wicks happening uh, so let's say below 20k in general right and obviously that's going to give us a chance to enter some short trades i've said in the previous videos i'm not trading um crypto through leverage but for those of you who are you know that's something to watch out for if you see price breaking below 29,000, then you can start looking for selling opportunities either on the pullbacks on the breakout straight away whatever your strategy is all right so if price takes out this high up here and it continues above it then we're back to our original idea where we've got this sell area starting from the 34,000 level and right inside of this area or the retest of 34,000, depending on where we see that reversal that's where we're going to be looking to take a sell trade from and the only thing we have to change then would be that third point on our fibonacci expansion uh, which will actually give us the correct target level OK, now, if I have to be honest, this downside move, which I'm expecting to happen next, basically the breakout of 29K and the continuation lower, I don't think it will be as quick as this one right here, for example, or the one before that. Right. Because we had some nice downtrends here happening in a short period of time. Or, I mean, we've, we see some nice impulses to the downside. I don't think that's going to be the case with this uh, last push. And I actually think this is going to be the last push before we actually see a full trend reversal and price continuing back to the upside, reaching much higher values. 
All right. So if you look at the daily time frame, what I'm going to show you first is how the Fibonacci expansion tool works. I know some of you guys are using the Fibonacci tools in your trading, but there are others who don't. So this is the daily time frame, and what we see here is this first impulse to the downside. Then we've got the pullback. All right. Then we had another push to the downside, and that's when I found this sell area right here, which, as you can see, it affected price. Just as expected, we saw the market with a pullback inside of this area, and then we had some selling opportunities. That's when we place the Fibonacci expansion here on the daily time frame um, on point A, point B, and point C, and that's how we got the level of 25,950, or let's just say 26,000. And as you can see, the next thing we know, price tapped into this level perfectly. And so that's why now I have a FIB expansion on this next leg, right? We've got the next impulse to the downside, starting from up here, point A, down here, point B, and point C, again, the end of the pullback. As you can see, exactly the same thing that we had earlier right here. Okay, hope that makes sense. And with the help of that Fibonacci expansion on the second downside leg, we get the next target levels, which in this case, like I said, it's 18,230, right? But going back to the four hour, maybe even the hourly time frame, once this move begins, which the first sign of that will be again a breakout of 29k once that downside move begins i'm expecting that there are going to be some pullbacks you know price will eventually reach uh, some major support levels uh, for for example here at 26k we might have a deeper pullback then and then we're going to see that continuation but like i said it's going to take some time for this move to develop to the downside so i don't know if you've noticed that already but we have a pretty decent pattern for um, us to work with right as you can see we've got a descending trend line right here we've got a closing channel as well and i'm pretty sure every time you drop to a lower time frame you're gonna see exactly the same thing all right and that just shows that you know a certain move is coming to an end first we've got a massive drop we've got a pullback then we've got another drop smaller than this previous one we've got the pullback and then we've got the third move to the downside which is again smaller than the previous one and with that you, you get this kind of a closing channel right here and at some point you're actually going to see price breaking above that breaking above previous highs and continuing um, higher right so you can clearly see that here on the daily time frame first we've got the first massive drop we've got a pullback we've got a second move which is smaller than this one right here we now have another pullback and i'm expecting another third move which is going to be smaller than the second one um, and then at some point we're going to see that reversal and price will eventually start its bull run so for those of you who are long-term trading crypto investing into crypto um, that's some good news for you guys because i'm expecting that this next drop to around to below 20k basically basically to around the 18,000 level uh, is going to be the last drop before price action, you know, actually reverses here um, and pushes back to the upside. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. Leave a comment below this video. Let me know if you like this type of analysis. Um, also, if you want to see my update on Bitcoin, the quickest way to do that would be to subscribe to our email newsletter because every Monday I'm doing a market breakdown um, of multiple instruments and I'm sending that to all of, all of the people who have subscribed to our email list. All right? If you haven't done, you can do it through the link in the description below this video. Um, and if you don't do that, then the next update on Bitcoin for you will be next friday all right make sure to subscribe to this channel i release video analysis like this one on gold and euro dollar as well monday and wednesday so you don't want to miss that out and also hit the likes button so you can help the algorithm show all of our videos to more and more people all right i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching please don't forget to watch our last two videos where you can find more valuable information Check out our channel for more trading related videos. I wish you all a successful trading and I'll see you next time.